Hello friends, in this movie, we are going to rename a folder, then also move it from one directory to the other. And then we would also create a new blank workbook, that is to say an Excel file. And I'll discuss with you what these things are in the later movies. So for the sake of you and I, I'm going to delete this new folder I've got over here by clicking on it and then pressing the delete key on the keyboard then let me create a folder by right clicking on a desktop go to new and then this time folder then i'm going to name this one publisher so this one i think i should name it publisher over right here then press the enter key on the keyboard now when you are moving a file from one drive to the same drive or from a drive to the same drive uh, once you drag the folder from one location on top of the other that is on top of the second folder you will notice that it reads move to main folder but then if you should hold the control key on the keyboard as i do you'll be getting copy to main folder which means this time around the publisher folder will still remain here and then copy will be inside the main folder but however that is not what i want instead i want this one to be moved to the main folder so in that case i have to release my control key on the keyboard then release my mouse button and at that time i end up sending that guy inside the main folder and where if i should double click on it sure enough i've got a folder here called publisher that is it's a subfolder which means it's a folder inside a folder all right now this time i think we should go to excel by double clicking on it then Create a blank workbook from the folder environment, also known as the desktop environment. And you can do so by right clicking on the, de uh, the folder, then go to new. And at this point, we have Microsoft Excel worksheet. So click on Microsoft Excel worksheet, and then you are presented with this new Microsoft Excel worksheet name right down here. With a workbook, actually, the file is actually known as a workbook. Now, we're going to name this guy um introduction then haven't typed introduction down then i'm going to hit the enter key on the keyboard and that is how friends you create a blank workbook right here inside windows 10.